Hi, I'm Brian Kim and I oversee engineering at the Pressure Products Company. In this video, I will demonstrate and explain the operations of this machine. First, this is the industry standard 29-inch stencil that our machine is designed for. Alternatively, there is a holder for snorkel stencils for special applications. The machine has a footprint of about a little less than 34 inches by 23 inches and a height of a little less than 38 inches when the arm is down. In metric, that works out to about 85 centimeters by 57 centimeters and a height of about 95 centimeters. When the machine is dry, it weighs about 440 pounds, which is about 200 kilograms. It holds 14 and a half gallons of liquid, which is 55 liters. It runs on single phase 220 to 240 volt AC power with a minimum current requirement of 15 amps. We recommend 20 amp circuitry for powering the machine. It's designed for aqueous, meaning water-based, no rinse cleaning agent. Major chemical cleaning agent manufacturers offer such products designed for ultrasonic cleaning applications. At the front of the machine, we have all of the controls. All of the cycle parameters, like cycle duration and maximum temperature, are entered through the front touch panel here. These two buttons start the cycle, and here is the emergency stop. As you'd expect, the emergency stop cuts power to everything. This is the wash tank. The ultrasonic agitators are located on the back panel of the wash tank. During cleaning operation, the cover keeps the mist and spray from exiting the tank. Still, you should remember that this is a high energy cleaning process, and when the machine is in operation, you will definitely be able to smell the cleaning agent around the machine. Modern aqueous cleaning agents are safe, but we advise that this unit be placed at a well-ventilated location, which is typical of this type of cleaner. Here is the dryer for the stencil. After the cleaning cycle is over, you can place the wet stencil in this dryer and start a blow drying cycle. The drying and cleaning cycles are independent and you can run one without the other. Now notice that there is no rinse tank. This kind of a very compact cleaner became possible after the introduction of the current generation of safe, water-based, rinse-free cleaning agents. This compact layout and the fact that the machine is on casters and the fact that it doesn't need any plumbing connections mean that you can just push the machine over to another part of the plant. Operators who do projects that reconfigure workflow temporarily find this mobility of the machine very useful and these sorts of temporary reconfigurations are surprisingly common even in high volume production plants. Now let's see the cycle. First, enter the cycle time and cut up temperature at the touch screen. Most operators have one cycle that they use so this is done once at the setup time and left alone unless someone determines that a different cycle time should be entered for whatever reason. That's very simple, just key in the numbers here at the front panel and hit enter. A lot of operators find that a 5 minute cycle is long enough to get good cleaning results and leave the machine at that. But you will have to determine that for your actual application. To actually get the cycle going, hang the stencil on the arm and latch it like this. Walk around the front and push both of these buttons and hold them down until the arm lowers fully and you hear the ultrasonic start. That's all there is to it. Walk away and do something else until the cycle is over. At the end of the cycle, the stencil holder arm will rise. And the towel light will turn green. When you see that, you can let it hang there as long as you want, or you can clean another stencil. Now, if you want to clean another stencil, you'll probably want to blow dry the cleaned wet stencil right away. So you take that off, load the dryer, and you start the dryer with a virtual button in the front touch pad. That's all there is to it. No more operation just involves hanging the stencil on the arm and holding down the two buttons on the front until the machine starts. Then the operator can walk away and do whatever else he's supposed to do. You can find more information in the FAQ section of our website. I'm Brian Kim for Pressure Products Company and thank you for watching.